So now we have our full deploy script up and running and we know it's working. We want to make this easier to maintain going forward. So having all of our commands in one task doesn't really give us much flexibility. So for example, the front end build does take quite a few seconds to build and this is only going to get longer as your project grows. So if you've not actually made a change to the front end, then it does seem pretty pointless in rebuilding the entire front end. So it would be better if we could say, just build the back end, for example, or just build the front end, if we only need to build the front or the back end. So Laravel Envoy has a concept called stories, and these stories allow you to run multiple tasks together in a group. So as you can see in our current task, our tasks are kind of grouped together in certain stages. So the top four commands here, you could say we're kind of setting the server up ready for the build. And then the next four commands, we're building up the back end, getting the dependencies and running the database migrations. And then finally down here, we're kind of running the front end build and setting that up. So we can split these out into individual tasks and then run them tasks within a story. So let's create a new story. So I'm going to create a story here called full deploy and this full deploy is going to basically run exactly the same commands here but into separate tasks so we can do that with a at story and then give a name for the story and now this could be anything just something easy for you to remember but i'm going to call mine full hyphen deploy and then we just do end story and then inside of these story tags we just tell it what tasks to run so at the moment we only have one task with everything in it but let's split them out into individual ones. So the first task I'm going to make is for the git checkout and the git pull. So I'm just going to create a new task here. And I'm going to call this task git. And now each task is independent of each other. So if we just copy this up here, we can see that we changed directory into our website. And now because this is independent, if we quickly just create up another task, I'm just going to call this task backend. And let's just copy up all of our PHP and composer commands into the backend. Now, if we run this git command, we're actually going to change directory into our website and run our git checkout and our git pull. And that's fine, that'll, that'll work perfectly well. And now, if we run our backend task after our git task, we will be back into the root of our folder where we SSH'd into. But when we come to run composer install, it won't understand what's happening because we won't be in our website directory. So for this task, we also need to CD into our projects folder. Now, as you're probably thinking, we're repeating code here. And if we change this directory at a later date, we'd have to update it in multiple places. Laravel Envoy allows you to create variables. And we can do that in a specialist Envoy directive called setup. So at the top of our Envoy file, I'm just going to create a directive called setup. And then just call end setup here. And then in the middle here, we can now create variables. So let's create one called dir. And we're going to set that to our projects directory. So if I just copy this now, and paste it in here. Now all of our tasks will have access to this variable. So let's change the CD line and get rid of the hard coded string here. And then we can just use the blade syntax to put the variable in. So we can just do DIR. So now that'll change directory into whatever directory you put in here. So in our back end as well, let's get rid of this hard coded string and pull in our DIR. So before we do the git checkout, obviously we want to bring our website down again. So PHP artisan down. Now we could actually put this into a separate task. And I think I'm going to, and we've just the git commands in here. So let's create another task here. And I'm going to call this one site down. And then end this task. And I'm just going to copy this code here and paste it into the site down task. And then for our git task, we can just get rid of this artisan down because we're going to run the site down task first. Now, the reason why I've decided to put this into a separate task is because we can create another story where we can just bring the site down. So, for example, if your website was under attack for whatever reason, you could just run the site down command without doing a full deploy. 
So it's quite handy to have as its own thing. Now, obviously, as our story, we need to build up what tasks we want to run. So we want to run our site down first. So that brings our site down into maintenance mode. Then we want to run our Git. And then we want to run our backend. So now you can see we're starting to build up our full deployment script to run all the tasks that we originally had just in one task. So we bring our site down. We do all our Git changes that we need. We then pull down our front end code and do the build. But the final thing we need to do is obviously do the front end build. So here I'm just going to get rid of this server string now. And I'm going to call this one front end. And like before, each task is independent of each other. So we need to CD into that folder. And then we need to load in our MVM scripts because we installed NPM and Node via Node version manager. And then we want to do an NPM install and the NPM run production. And then finally, let's create a task for bringing the server back up. So we can do task. And we'll call this one site up send that task and then we need to cd into that directory again and then we need to run php artisan up we can take that one out of the front end task now a task front end its only purpose is to deal with the front end assets we're back up in our story now we do the site down we do our git task we do our back end task we want to do our front end task and then finally we want to do our site up task so now when we run this story, it'll go through one by one and run each of these tasks. So let's take a look and check this out. So over in our terminal, we can run an envoy run and then the name of the story we want to run. And we want to run our full deploy story. And as you can see, that runs the exact same script process that we had in our previous video. It's just now we have more control over what we want to run. So back in our envoy file, let's create another story here. I'm going to create a story. Let's create a story called backend deploy. And then we just need to tell this story what task we want to run. So we want to run site down again to bring the site down. We want to run our git command to pull down any of the new code. We obviously then want to run the actual backend build of installing our dependencies and then running any migrations and handling any cache. And then finally, we want to bring the site back up with our site up task. You see, it's pretty much the same as our full deploy. The only difference is we're just missing off the front end task. So over on our command line now, if we do an envoy run and we want to run our back end hyphen deploy story, then just hit enter. And now you can see this runs a lot quicker because it's running a lot less tasks. It only does our back end assets. So this is a handy way just to run our backend deployment if we've only made changes to our backend code. So obviously now we've done the backend, let's build a story for the front end as well. So I'm just going to copy this backend story and I'm just going to rename this front end deploy. And then obviously within our story, we don't want to run our backend tasks, we want to run our front end task. And now this allows us to do deployments of just the back end or just the front end. So if we've only made changes to our CSS, for example, we probably don't want to do a full back end deployment. The front end one will just be absolutely fine. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I put the site down into its own task. Now you might be thinking that might be a little bit overkill. It could have been put in with one of the other tasks, but this gives us the flexibility. And like I said, maybe your site was under attack Maybe it was under DDoS or something, so you wanted to bring the site down. And you can actually now do that through the command line. So you don't have to create a story for everything. You could run each of these Envoy tasks one by one if you wanted. The story just makes it more convenient for tasks that you're going to be always running together in a group. So let's take a look now at running just this site down task. So over in our browser, we can see our website's still up. Now let's say we need to bring it down quickly in an emergency. Over our local machine, we can now do an envoy run and we want to run our site down task. And you can see now that's logged into our server, changed directory into our project folder and put the site into maintenance mode. So now over on our live server, if we just do a refresh, we can see our site is now down and our users get a 503 response.
then obviously we can bring the site up just as quickly if we do an envoy run site and then we want to run our site up task this time and now your application is now live and if we just do this a refresh again we can see the website is now live again now we can see how the stories and creating individual tasks for each individual step can give us great flexibility so we can now take this script to the next level and we can do that with something called zero downtime deployments and what that means is instead of bringing our website down while we do the build and then bring it back up again we build our website in a separate folder and then once that build is done we can use the power of symlinks and we use symlinks in our nginx configs in previous videos and what we can do is we can swap out the folders which the server is serving so with that the build is handled separately to the website running and then once it's ready we instantly switch them over so that way your website isn't down while the build is running so in the next video we will look at how we can create that zero downtime deployment script using laravel envoy